Wagwan guys, today I'll be talking about how ChatGPT helped me find freelance and remote jobs within the next maybe 10 minutes. Let me put you on onto something that's going to change your entire remote job on game, you know. If you're struggling to find remote jobs or freelance gigs, you are about to get a serious glow up using ChatGPT. And listen, I am not just talking about the usual resume fluff, I mean actionable strategies that get results. Because I've seen people use this exact step to land jobs without stress. Now, before we dive in, let's address the elephant in the room. Remember when everyone was actually freaking out that AI was coming to get our jobs, blah, 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 freelancers will no longer have job. Well, turns out AI is our secret tool, not even just our secret tool, it is our secret weapon for getting freelance and remote jobs. And the good part is that some of the features that used to be premium and you have to pay for it on ChatGPT are now opened to free users because of competition from platforms like DeepSeek. Oh, why ChatGPT is amazing for this tutorial, keep an eye out on tools like DeepSeek, Copilot, Gemini, and other AIs that appeals to you because you can use them also for this. Though I prefer Copilot, ChatGPT, and I also use Cloud. All right, let's get into it. Step one, train ChatGPT to be your career coach, to be that your guru, that your mentor. You know, the first thing first is that ChatGPT needs to know who you are. Think of it like a super intelligent friend or coach who wants to help you succeed, but it can only do that if you tell it exactly what you need. So your first move is introducing yourself to ChatGPT. You know, open your ChatGPT and type, hey ChatGPT, my name is whatever your name is, Sunday Abegunde, and I am a freelance content producer. Put what you do there. I specialize in video content and also do ghostwriting, product, and graphic design. I have worked with small brands in the US and big brands like Deloitte. My dream clients are consultants, personal coaches, thought leaders, trainers, and CEOs. My website is, put your website there, and here is a link to my portfolio. So put a link to your portfolio there also, so that ChatGPT can learn to include that link when you need it. Then note, introducing yourself to ChatGPT this way, you can use it when you're writing Upwork proposal. That means when you copy a job on Upwork and you paste it on that same conversation in ChatGPT for it to write a proposal for you. So it has memory of who you are on that particular conversation. If your memory is not full on ChatGPT, GPT like myself. Although before it gets full, I already store enough of my information there. Okay, so let's proceed. So this introducing yourself to chat GPT is actually key because every time you ask for a job help, maybe for a remote job or freelance job, chat GPT will tailor it to the responses based on you. So you are not going to be getting generic nonsense from chat GPT. So step two, find next client in few seconds or will I say minutes? Now that ChatGPT knows who you are, it's time to let it do the heavy lifting for you. So ask, give me a list of 20 potential companies, startups, looking for your, put your skill there, content producer service. Focus on companies that are remote friendly, recently got funding, or have job openings in this field, then that field in content field. It might, it might be targeting people in the music industry, it might be targeting people in a specific industry, finance um, industry, you know. So then boom, you know, ChatGPT is going to pull up a list of companies you never even thought of. But we are not stopping there. Let's move on to step three. But before we move on to step three, um, if this video is being valuable to you so far, please hit the like button. It's a way to support what I do here. So step three, spy on your future clients. Legally, of course, <laughs> we are not um, illegal spies here. Okay, so once you have the list, tell ChatGPT. Now, research the first five companies or you might unpick the companies you wanted to research yourself. Then ask ChatGPT to check their website LinkedIn, and any recent news. Tell me their biggest challenges and how my service can help them. So that is a prompt you will type into ChatGPT. Then guess what? This is where the magic happens because ChatGPT will scan through everything on the internet and highlight their pain points for you. 
things like they need better social media engagement, their blog hasn't been updated in months, or they just raised $5 million and might be hiring. So if ChatGPT is not giving you this specific response I stated now, you can give it to ChatGPT like these are the kind of responses I want. So now you know exactly what to pitch. Let's move on to step four. And if this kind of video appeals to you, this will be a good place for you to hit the subscribe button. Let's proceed. And I love when my um, viewers comment. Please comment. It can be um, a feedback. It can be a thank you. It can be anything. It can be your own contribution or your own experience. Just comment something right now. Let's move on to step four. So sharing the perfect pitch. Without, you know, one thing with pitch is that it can start sounding robotic, you know. You need to write that perfect pitch without sounding desperate to the client. Note that word, desperate. It's important you don't sound desperate. You should just sound like you are trying to help them. So, let's use ChatGPT to craft a message that doesn't sound like every other freelancer begging for work. This is your prompt for ChatGPT. Tell ChatGPT, write me a short, friendly, and persuasive email pitching my service to you know maybe one of the specific company that ChatGPT has given to you let's say speaking pen international concept so keep it conversational but professional showing how i can solve their specific problem ChatGPT will draft it out for you but don't just copy and paste what ChatGPT gives to you edit it to sound like you and add a bit of personality, a relevant example, and a soft call to action. You know, CTAs are very important. You can say something like, would you love to up on a quick Zoom call so we can see how I can help you better? So let's move on to step five, follow up like a pro. You know, when you send the pitch to clients, they know that maybe you might send as much as maybe like 30 pitch in 30 days. That means one pitch per day, like you're taking um, a pill. So because like, yeah, I cannot promise you that all of them would respond. But if you send it to 30 people, targeted people like this, you might get maybe two, three, four or five responses. Then remember, it might take just one client to change your life. Or it, you might need to get just one remote job. Then if it is freelancing, you'll need to get more freelance jobs. So you might need to do this in other months. So expect some level of rejections and you know that, okay, you're, everybody would not accept. So when you're getting that rejection email, you don't get disappointed from firing on. Okay, so if they don't reply, no stress. Ask ChatGPT after you've sent it to maybe like the 30 of them. You need to follow up and write something like write a short follow up email for name the company, reminding them about my pitch and offering to chat at their convenience. You can even set up a Google meeting and add the link there, or a Zoom meeting and add the link. Then, if it's on Upwork, Upwork has a meeting within itself. Then, know that don't use external Zoom meetings or Google Meeting links for Upwork now. Now they are suspending accounts for that purpose. They want you to use the Zoom inside of Upwork's message feature. Okay, so most clients need a nudge. Even the one that would eventually hire you, you might need to nudge them a bit. So following up without being annoying, don't be annoying in your follow-up, is quite different. And it's what makes the difference between the freelancers, the remote workers that get crickets and the ones that eventually get hired and get paid. So let's move on to step six. Optimize your resume and cover letter without sounding robotic because that's what a lot of people sound like these days with the advent of AI. Now, for the job hunters who prefer the traditional application method or when it is required, ChatGPT can write your resume and cover letter so you actually stand out. You just need to give it enough information to work with. You can even upload your current CV to ChatGPT and ask it to improve it for you, then probably you redesign it in Canva. And if you are a professional designer like myself, you might redesign it in Adobe Illustrator. It doesn't matter, just come out with good output. Then use this prompt when um, you give ChatGPT your CV or you want it to write a CV for you. Say something like, rewrite my resume for, then state the specific job title at Speaking Pen International Concept, the company you are applying to. Make sure it highlights my expertise, my experience in, talk about the specific key skills, my experience in maybe Figma, my experience in Adobe Illustrator, my experience in management, stuff like that, then keep it natural and engaging. 
for cover letters, it's important that you don't just let ChatGPT spit out generic nonsense that every Tom, Dick, and Harry can know that this is ChatGPT that um, ChatGPT's handwriting, although ChatGPT doesn't write with hand. But there is a way you see a content generated by AI that you just know straight up that this is a lazy ass pitch, this is a lazy ass follow up, this is a lazy ass cover letter. So instead, go step by step with ChatGPT. Don't just give it the whole work to do. So start with maybe something like, what are the three biggest challenges someone in this role, mention the role, can face? Another prompt. Now, write a cover letter that shows how my experience directly solves those challenges. Remember you've given ChatGPT a few um, information about yourself and now ChatGPT is going to use that information or you can ask it to ask you questions more about your experience so you can share more that it can use in this then this way your application will actually speak to what the hiring manager cares about and not just sound generic like every other freelancer sent. So let's move on to step seven. So after you've sent your pitching, maybe you've gotten a response from one or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight, okay? And now you need to interview, you need to speak with them on a Zoom meeting, a form, any form of interview, whether it's an, even up work when you send your proposal, um, you need to um, schedule an interview. My own call to action on Upwork most times is not hire me now. My call to action is oh, most times let's jump on a meeting if you are available or at your earliest convenient time or send an offer. Let's get started. Do you, do you get that? So you need to prepare for the for interviews. So finally, when you land an interview, let ChatGPT help you prepare. Ask, type in this particular prompt. What are the top 10 interview questions for content producer or at so 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 company then go deeper say something like um in your prompt now craft responses that highlight my experience and include one real life example for each question note that you might need to make some adjustments yourself because you know yourself way better than you've just introduced to chat gpt and um, it will generate some responses for you. And for the ultimate flex, you can also ask that what smart questions should I ask the interviewer to stand out? They will ask you, do you have any questions for us and all those kind of things. Your answer to this question can actually make or break the deal. So it's important you are prepared to ask that question. ChatGPT will give you a couple of questions you can possibly ask so you can pick from those questions yourself. No more sending generic applications into the void and using ChatGPT makes it a lot easier. If this was helpful, please hit the subscribe button, drop a comment and let me know which step you are trying first. I am in the comments. Let's chat bro. <laughs> Let's chat sis. See you in the next video. Go get that bag. Bye-bye.